As regional agriculture grows to meet demand, pressure to use chemical inputs in farming is also increasing. For farmers, the short-term promise of synthetic pesticides are hard to resist. There is a widespread belief that chemical inputs help drive productivity, eliminate pests and boost profits. But synthetic pesticides are hugely overused. Some even include banned substances. They may not be mixed or applied properly and users face inadequate safety precautions. As a result, pesticide residues are often found in fresh produce, impacting the health of consumers. Detection of residues in food may also prevent food exports. Overuse of chemical inputs can also threaten the sustainability of farmland and contaminate the local water supply. But there is an alternative. Biocontrol agents are naturally occurring substances and living organisms used to stop pests and diseases. Biocontrol agents often do not have a toxic mechanism and they show no or very low risks to human health and the environment. Evidence is growing that they can effectively replace chemical inputs in many crops. However, biocontrol markets and supply chains are still poorly developed and often small scale. The ASEAN Biocontrol for Sustainable Agri-Food Systems project works with member states to improve the biocontrol market and make these products available to farmers. With assistance from the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, the agricultural sectors in ASEAN countries are working together so that more sustainable and environmentally friendly crop protection options can be introduced as soon as possible. The very long-term objective is actually to have supported the ASEAN member states and respective ministries in having come up with a regional policy and strategy on sustainable agri-food systems. If there is a policy that we must focus on, it is biocontrol. This will be an important step to ensure the sustainability and speedy implementation of these methods. Efficient use of scarce resources and eco-sensitive approaches are important for ensuring safe, healthy and affordable food for an increasing population. The usage of biocontrol in Indonesia in the last five years has become more significant. It is because of support from the government. Farmers receive training and are aware of demands from international markets. Supermarkets want safe products and buy them at a higher price, so the farmers who already have an understanding about healthy life and safe products are trying to learn more about biocontrol. As we know, there is already what we call resistance development in insects. So, if farmers will be depending on pesticides, for sure there will be a problem in the future on pesticide resistance. Aside from that, the environment will be polluted. The consumer's health will be at risk, and at the same time, the farmer themselves, their health will be at risk also. Biocontrol agents and sustainable crop management must be promoted to create safe, sustainable agri-food systems. For producing biocontrols agents, you need certain technologies and you need technologies to provide a certain quality. Keeping up the quality, you need to dedicate considerable funds and expertise to do that. And this requires a professional endeavor, especially if you want to mass produce this. Only with a professional approach you can guarantee the consistency of the products and the quality. From 2015, biocontrol methods will help ensure that products from the ASEAN economic community are safe and meet international export requirements. In order to achieve this, from the agriculture sector, we certainly would need to ensure that our products will be able to meet standards which is recognized by all countries. And our products would have to be highly competitive, meaning to say that it can meet the requirement of not only ASEAN member states, but also outside. ASEAN is the second biggest trading partner for the European Union and vice versa. So since ASEAN is oftentimes referred to as the kitchen of the world, in terms of agricultural products, they are 
global market leaders in canned pineapple, rice, coffee and other foodstuff. So the trade promotion part of the European Union and ASEAN is of importance. To have GIZ as our partner to provide facilitative support in terms of experience sharing, in terms of linking with their bilateral projects and resources of experts and knowledge, we'll be able to expedite the process of regional exchange of uh, experience and also development of uh, this kind of biocontrol initiative so that we can uh, address this issue better and faster. I used to use chemical pesticides for a long time, but I had no success. The cost is very high. Biocontrol is better than chemical. We are concerned. We are worried about eating fruit because we have sprayed too much. We do that because of the economic problems and living costs. I'm worried about consuming unsafe food because it affects our health. I'm happy that I can buy safe vegetables. If you grow something with just only think about the profit, put many things, heavy chemical on that, can they eat that? Their family can eat that? If yes, okay, you, you, you can sell it. But if they say no, try to stop it. <laughs>